So Sci-Fi Channel has released, after two years, Winona Earp Season 4 trailer, and I am ready. Hi guys, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach to Nerd. And in this episode, we are reviewing and reacting to the Winona Earp Season 4 trailer. Two years in the making. I think 2018 is when we saw the season two finale, I believe. Um, guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to watch the trailer and then we're going to talk about the trailer and what I remember of the two-part season three finale. So let's do it. running amok, mystical portals to another worldly realm. That's just so good to be home. You call her You call you stinger bitch. Just give me a big one. You listen to me. Nobody fucks with our family. Game on, bitches. Vacation is over, asshole. I am gonna kick so much ass, I might go up a shoe size. God, I've missed you, Waverly Earp. Do not point that at anything unless you want a guac. No, I do want nachos. Let's go get our steps in. We're gonna bathe the whole town in the demon free zone once and for all. Clear eyes, full bra, can't lose. Okay, Jon Snow in a B cup. Together we take back purgatory when we hunt some goddamn demons. Like I said, so good to be home. It is very good to have you come home. So happy. Okay, so trailer is awesome. So let's talk about some things that I have questions about already. The young girl in it, is that supposed to be Agent Valdez from the graphic novel? Because she's supposed to be like super buff. Well, not really super buff, but like muscly, older. Um, and this girl looks really, really young. There's like a scene where um, Doc and, her, and Valdez are kissing after a, a, a fight that they were in. Not they were in, but they had had. Um, and I just can't see him making out with this girl because she looks like she's about 15. Now, I know I don't look my age. I don't look 43. I embrace it. And she could be a lot older, so, you know, I could be full of crap. But for now, like, it's just strange. I'm not saying it's anything bad because, you know, I love my daughter. But I just, I just have questions about de-aging the character. But, I mean, it probably works for their story, so... What do I know? Because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, Jeremy looks interesting. He's wearing a suit. Does that mean Black Badge is officially back? Is he starting another version of Black Badge? Well, he has to have something must be going on for him to have that kind of money, to have that kind of tech. Um, and also it was implicated that he was part human. So then what's the other part? Are we going to learn that in season four? I really want to know. Um, if you remember where we left off in season three, um, we really found out that Julian Charlie, you know, same person, is her angel daddy. <laughs> um, and that he was a protector of the Garden of Eden, which Bolshar, their villain from last season, was after. And she had to actually go into the portal or Garden of Eden because her father died. And I guess because he's dead, maybe she's like the next in line. And Doc went with her to keep her safe after he actually sucked the poison um, out of Winona's neck. Um, so much happened. It was a two-parter. So, like, um, so many questions, guys. Like, I, I'm looking at Nicole punching Winona on sight, and I understand it because if you unpack this, um, not only does she feel betrayed that Winona drugged her, because remember, she spiked the drinks of Nicole, Jeremy, and Jeremy's boyfriend, Robin, um, so they couldn't basically follow her. Um, she did not spike Waverly's drink, so it was just her and Waverly. Um, so I think Nicole's kind of like mad about that, plus her girlfriend's missing, so she's mad that she wasn't there to help save her girlfriend. Plus she's guilty, you know, or feels guilty, because if you remember in season three in the first half, 
Um, Winona asked her to basically take Waverly and drive her as far away from purgatory as she could. But Nicole said, no, I, you know, I'm the newly elected sheriff. I have a responsibility. I can't just leave these people behind. And probably in her mind, she's thinking, had she done that, maybe Waverly wouldn't be missing right now or trapped in this portal or whatever, if she even knows. Because, like, I don't, I remember they were keeping a lot of stuff from Nicole, you know, um, from all of them, really. Um, but I think by now she probably does know that, you know, she's half angel and like everything that happened. And so I can see why she's pretty ticked off. Um, but it does look like they're back. And I know that they were able to film at least five or six episodes, I think, before COVID um, forced them to shut down. So July 26 is when this is starting. So we're going to at least get five episodes, hopefully, out of it potentially six, which I am super excited for. And I'm, I'm already at, look, we haven't even started this season and I'm already wanting a season five. Um, but there's just so many things I want to know. Um, Boba now is working with Bolshar. Peacemaker is non-existent. So I'm assuming that means Winona is no longer the, the heir because she doesn't have a weapon to fight the revenants that are still there. So I don't know how that's going to play out. But from the trailer, it looks like she's improvising. Um, I want to know what's going to go on with, um, are we going to get to see Winona's baby again? Like, you know, once the curse is broken, I guess my fear is once we see Winona's baby, that's probably the series finale. So maybe we should just hold off on that. Um, what is Valdez's role? Is it the same as in the graphic novel? I would love to know that. Are people still disappearing? Because Winona and, and Nedley were teaming up at the end of season three because people were just disappearing. They were assuming the garden was taking them, but we don't know what was happening to them. And so they were trying to figure that out. Are they still missing? I didn't see Robin in this trailer. So does that mean that uh, Jeremy and him are no longer a thing? I mean, there's so many questions that I want them answered. And I know I'm just being impatient because it's exactly, today is the 26th. It is exactly one month away before the premiere on the Sci-Fi Channel of Wine on a Herb Season 4. And being an herper, somebody who gave money to this cause, somebody who even gave money to have the Season 3 Blu-ray sent to them, I am committed. And I will be reviewing the heck out of this series on my channel because I love Wine on a Herb and you should too. So guys, let me know what you think about this trailer. Hopefully I will not get a copyright claim, but I probably will because I get a copyright claim on everything. So whenever I do a reaction video, it never fails. My last one, Bill and Ted, I said I was gonna get a copyright claim. I got a copyright claim. Um, but this one was worth risking a copyright claim. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And if you would like to sign up for Jury Duty, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to know who's next in the nerd bell, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. But hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.